With the recent release of Roblox's texture generator, I was wondering if I could make a game using only AI. The rule. Number one, I cannot write a script by myself. I'm allowed to fix it, but I can't write it originally. Two, I cannot make any texture or material by myself. That has to be generated with AI. And three, I'm not even allowed to think for myself. Okay, maybe I won't do that one, but you get the point. ChatGPT? Give me a game idea. How about a game called Space Junk Collector? I mean, there's nothing to it but to do it, I guess. So making a game with AI is actually incredibly easy. All we have to do is ask it nicely enough. I'm just joking around. It doesn't actually work like that. Well, I just built this very basic rocket. I'm going to import into Roblox Studio to get texture with the AI and everything. So let's see how that's going to turn out. So I'll admit it definitely isn't perfect, but I can't really complain. It does definitely look pretty cool. So, I mean, we'll take it. I guess the next thing would be making sure that the player spawns in the spaceship, which we're going to make ChatGPT do, and then also randomly spawning this trash around the game. So this is the script that ChatGPT gave us. It looks like it's going to find our spaceship in the workspace. If it's there, it's going to clone it move it to the character's position, and then weld it to the player so that way they can move around with it. And as you can see, joining the game, we actually now have a spaceship that is around our player. Now, it's not facing the right direction, but I'm sure I can fix that fairly easily. I think the next option would be to add some particle effects to this thing to make it look a little bit better. Oh, now we are talking. We got ourselves a spaceship with some thrusters right here. Very nice. Next thing I'm going to do is just lower it down a little bit so it's a little bit down on the ground and then we can get to our next segment of the game. So the idea ChatGPT gave was you're flying the spaceship around and you've got to collect all the trash inside of the universe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have ChatGPT take this piece of trash and position it all around a certain area inside of a map. Alright, so this next prompt that I gave it was actually a bit of a complicated prompt, but it looks like it's managed to spit out a pretty cool script for us to use, so I'm going to copy Copy this code and let's see if it'll work. Now we just need to create the boundary part for our workspace here. Okay, so it looks like it is actually spawning our trash inside of our boundary right here. The only problem is that our boundary is inside of, I mean the trash inside of the boundary. If I were to make this invisible, you can see it actually has the trash all over this boundary, but it's simply invisible. So I think the way to go will just be to shrink this boundary down like this and then click on play. And now all the parts should spawn right here, just like this. And there we go. So ultimately it looks like this script worked out pretty flawlessly. The next thing we want to do is just make sure that whenever we touch one of these parts, it'll add a leader stat to the player. All right. So I just got this new script in here. So spawn to our game, let's open up our player right here. You'll see we have a parts collected value. Let's see if the value goes up whenever we touch a part. And yes, it does. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem to look like it destroys the part. So we're going to have to fix that as well. Looks like ultimately we have a functioning game so far. The only thing left to do would be to create a cell area where we can get coins for selling our trash piles. Alrighty, so ChatGPT just made a cell script for our little cell button right here, and we can go ahead, collect all this rusted metal, and then when we go ahead, press cell, it will turn all that trash into coins. Now, ChatGPT has actually done an incredible job so far scripting our game. The only problem is that ChatGPT doesn't seem to be so skilled with making UI. That's why I'm going to go for a more unique of a shop design where you have to step on buttons to buy upgrades instead of using a GUI for them. So let's go ahead and try that. Now we have the speed upgrade script inside of here. Let's go ahead and press play so we can test this thing out. So when we go ahead and join the game, it's going to say speed 0 out of 10. It's $100 right now. So what we need to do is go ahead and get as many coins as possible by collecting up all this trash around the map. And then once you have enough parts collected, you simply go over to the cell area right here, sell your parts for cash, and then you can go ahead and buy your first speed upgrade, which as you can see, it increases the speed of my character. The price of the upgrade went up by quite a bit. And then you get back to collecting your parts. Now the only thing left to do is to create a map for our game. So let's go ahead and do that. 
The game takes place in a vast, sprawling space junkyard. Sounds pretty good to me. All we need to do is just go ahead and, I guess, create space. So yeah, I think that's going to have to be where I end off today's video. If you would like to play this AI-made game, you can feel free to play it by joining the link down in the description below. If you'd like me to come back and try and remake this game by myself without the help of AI to see if I can do any better, then leave a comment down below letting me know. And make sure to rate how good of a job you think AI was actually able to do for making this game. Other than that, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!